Um, well, you, you referenced it last week, um, a full week's training, because I imagine the head's been spinning from Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, so just, just a chance to settle things down and get some real work in. Yeah, um, we've really enjoyed the week. Um, we've got loads of, of good quality work in. Um, the work I'm seeing from the boys from, from Monday to Friday has been, has been excellent, and we hope that repays on the pitch on, on Saturday. So there's no guarantees, but we're preparing as um, thoroughly as we can. Um, and as I've said, the, boy, the boys doing their work on the training ground from Monday to Friday hasn't been a problem. I've been really, really pleased with them. Their work ethic, application uh, and quality they've shown this week, we, we hope to take it into the game Saturday. Does that sometimes make it harder to take, that the results haven't quite come when, when you have put in all that work? Well, certainly, Glenn, yeah, I, it certainly has. Um, you know, like, like I say, to, to the most point, I've been really pleased with the work we've done since we've been here. Obviously, you alluded to it earlier, we've done Saturday, Tuesday every week, so the amount of work we can do on the grass is, has been very limited. But We've got as much quality work as we can into the boys. It's now settled down slightly, um, and we've been able to have a full week on the grass, which we've we've really enjoyed. Like I say, the boys are they're all in. They've been training really, really well. Their application's been great, and, and if we can transfer our work from Monday to Friday into a Saturday afternoon, then then I know that results aren't far away. I referenced it last week about whether there might have been a hangover from what's gone on the last two two and a half years. Now I wonder whether not directly because of that or because of anything like that, whether you have sat down and asked the players about how things have got their views. Yeah, like we've spoken about all those kind of stuff. Um, yeah, of course. Like you know, the players are the ones playing on a Saturday afternoon. They're the ones out there who, have, who, who are going to perform. They're the ones who have to put on the shirt and go and go and run around. That's not not me. I, unfortunately, I don't get the opportunity to do that anymore. So they're the ones who go and do it. Um, so that's that's fine. We, we've spoken about what's what's been and gone. We've spoken about how we wanted to move forward. We've we've touched all bases. Um, you know, all four corners of the coaching. Um, manual we've, we've, we've done, you know, technical, tactical, physically and, and socially, we've, we've spoke about all those bits and we've tried to implement as much as we can, so of course um, what's been and gone is history, but um, you do have to make sure that you're able to move forward, and I, I know I've said it before, but as, as long as we can keep, keep putting that quality working on the grass, it has to play as well. And I guess you would hope as well, you've got enough experience that sometimes you don't need to do that much talking. Of course, yeah, that, that, that needs to be the thing, you know, like I say, I'm not, I'm not out on the on the pitch, I try and help as much as I can from the side and, and the work we do Monday to Friday hopefully um, pays off on the Saturday but you know we're trying to give ourselves an identity, we're trying to give ourselves a style of play, we're trying to give ourselves a new culture here, you know these things do take time, of course they do, you know football's a, an instant business, it's a results based business and I get that but um, you know we're trying to create an identity and a style of play that, that we all can um, be proud of and we all like. Um, we're trying to change the culture of, of the football club to be aligned with, with how that identity wants to be. So those type of things do take a little bit of time, but I, I totally understand that you know uh, it's an instant results-based business and we want to win games sooner rather than later. What do you make of Crew? Because they've, they've had a, a strange change in, in head coach and management over the course of the last week. They've got a good win in the cup. Yeah, they did. Yeah, really good result against Leighton Orient, who we obviously really respect. A really good team in our division, so that's a great result for them. We've watched the game, we've watched their previous games and we've watched the game from last week. We know they've got some good footballers. Um, and we re really respect the way they go about their business, how they try and you know, try and play, their identity of their football club and style of play. You know, I've known all about that for years. Come up against their teams, and um, you know we've prepared for that and, and prepared our team ready for the game. Do you change much, home or away? Do, do you look? Do you do you go in with a different mindset when, when it's an away game or not? No, I, tr I try not to. Um, I know results may not suggest that because on the road, um, you know, for for a little while now, this football club hasn't been totally successful on the road. But my mindset is to try and win every game. I want to win. There's no thoughts of going somewhere for um, a draw. Obviously, the nuances of tactics maybe sometimes have to have to change slightly. But by, by no means does that mean um, negatively. We want to we want to go and, and attack. We want to go and create chances. We want to go and win games. That's that's my only thought approaching every game. In terms of your team selection, obviously Emir Hughes has, has, has come back and has, has played the game this week, but he's, he's been out an awfully long time, hasn't he? Yeah, he has been. Ems is a, a real top footballer. Um, you know, it's obviously been such a shame that he's he suffered with this injury and he needs to got on the pitch in my time here yet. But but we're looking forward to having him back. He got he got 40, you know, 55 minutes in the under 21s on Tuesday afternoon. And like I say, Ems is a fantastic footballer, and we're, we're really pleased that he's back and, and rolling. Just finally for me, Tommy Smith was on the bench last week. Is, is, is he ready you would feel to start a game if required? Yeah, Tommy's obviously building up his fitness, been out been out this season as well, but um, Tom's a really big character for us. Um, captain of the football club, um, a real big voice and a leader in the dressing room. Been there, seen it, done it before, um, and he's someone we're, we're really pleased to have back, so hopefully we can get him back on the... Um, no, he's been on the bench and he's back involved in the squad and he'll be playing a part soon.